Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make or how to animate a mecha if you are trying to make a mech game. This is such a specific prompt, but this uh, tutorial inspired, or at least this is my attempt on making Armored Core 6 type of game. But this is more like a third person shooter with a mech as a character. So, you know, um, a little bit of a backstory because I wanted to play, I wanted to play Armored Core 6. The game is pretty expensive for me, um, and also my PC couldn't really run it, so I need to buy a new hardware, a new game. I don't know, I don't think I could afford that, but so, you know, why don't I make one? Because I can, I don't know if I can or not, but yeah, this is my attempt. So this video specifically, we're going to focus on uh, what to do if you want to create the animation for the Mac. So we are going to start from Blender, and then also we're going to discuss a little bit about how to integrate that animation from Blender to Godot in, in Engine. Maybe touch a little bit on the basic on how to make the animation player and also the VFX that related with this movement system itself. So in this case, I have like the boost here and then the dust particle on the leg or on the feet rather. And then uh, the jumping animation and then the da uh, the dashing and then also, yeah, that's it. And maybe aiming. So also we can shoot here um, and also this one like that. But we're not going to... Uh, tackle or i'm not going to tackle every single topic uh, in this case again just focus on the movement system itself so let's just get started hey before we go to the tutorial i just will i uh, would like to say thanks to all the supporters that already bought the project files on kofi.com slash litter striker and if you want to further uh support the channel you can buy um the game verse available for play store in play store for android and uh, if you just want to support just don't forget to subscribe like you know leave a comment or do whatever uh with the channel so yeah thank you so much uh and yeah let's go back to the tutorial so we are inside blender now this is the again uh my modeling and 3d animation software of choice blender is like such a great tool if you are learning something uh, or if you are learning 3d um but yeah i don't need to what is it sell you on blender but uh, so let's take a look at the animation itself. Basically, the animation that I have here is all just a pose. So it's not really an animation because it only has one keyframe. Key uh, and also it only applied in or it's located in the Z, uh, first frame, which is frame zero. And, you know, I have like idle jump and then well, jump is a little bit different. It has a little bit of an animation there, but I don't think I use the jumping animation, but I might be wrong. But let's see uh, later on on the Godot. Uh, engine itself and then there is move back where the player is kind of moving towards the camera or moving back and then move forward as you might see i have uh, like uh, move back one move back two and also the same for the move forward move forward one and two this is the difference is just that the front leg is different this one is right leg and this one is left leg so you know there's like have a goofy and regular stances i don't know if you're playing video game uh tony hawk game you might relate or you're a skater you relate but anywho, so that's the idea of the moving forward one and two. And you might see on the animation later that I will show you like what, how does it make a difference? But yeah, so basically that's all it is, uh, you know, move left and also it goes the same where the body is kind of like tilting, I don't know, leaning to the left or to the direction that the player is moving towards and then move right, just the mirror pose, but yeah. And also, if you are making like a third person shooter, maybe this could be also, uh, this will be included also. Like uh, when the player is like aiming uh, upward and then when the player is also aiming downward. So you can interpolate between those two uh, poses, you know, and then connect that interpolation to the value of the mouse rotation, uh, X rotation. So when the player is kind of rotating the camera upward or tilted upward, then the model also kind of like looking up or yeah. Uh, it's a little bit abstract now, but I'm going to show you how it affects the, uh, yeah, in the gameplay later. But so basically that it, uh, that's it. So it's all poses, but maybe I'll add more things like this one is not rotating the leg. It's only rotating the body. So it kind of give the secondary motion later on. And also it could be like used for corrective poses. Let's say like if you're, let's say uh, the shooting one where it's um, shoot, 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 right? So this one. Later, you will find like uh, the skeleton is kind of like tilted a little bit to the right or to the left. You can actually use this uh, rotation or body rotation as a corrective pose if, if you want to align the gun uh, right to the center of the screen or maybe not to the center, but right in front of the model or right uh, to the front of the camera or the same direction as the camera is facing at the moment. So 
uh, you can use this body rotation as a corrective pose and also uh, adding a little bit of a uh, movement to the player itself so with that being said i think that's all the overview about the blender animation i mean there's no animation again it's all just poses and we are going to animate that through codes later on with interpolation with the um adding or blending the poses with one another and so yeah let's go ahead to godot engine itself all right so we are inside godot now so let's just uh drag in our gltf file that we exported from blender and then maybe set this one to zero and zero on the x and z, z axis um this is a good practice to make it local but that's what i'm going to do but the better practice is that you just create a new scene and then you inherit it and then you save this as uh what is it your own scene but for the sake of the tutorial i'm just going to make it local why because every changes that is done to the original model will be saved or will be imported will be inherited to the models that you are editing uh so that if you're adding like more poses or more animation or you know more models to it or more rig or whatever it will update also the inherited um or inheriting uh scenes so yeah i don't know if that makes sense i'm not good at explaining it there but yeah anywho so we are going again like i told you uh we are going to control the poses we are going to blend every single thing uh, every single poses uh to create the illusion of movement or illusion of animation uh, you can just put it here, you know, under the Mac rig also, you don't really care. And then let's create a new tree, which is a um, new animation blend, uh, node blend three. And then let's assign the animation player, which is this one. The animation player is the one that comes with the model itself, with the all the poses. And so, yeah, animation tree, let's name it maybe like something Mac uh, poses, right? Okay. Nothing connected to input or to input output of node output. I don't know what it says, but basically it, it has nothing yet to show. So that's why nothing is happening. Maybe that's what it says. I'm just translating it for you. So let's, you know, let's do a little bit of an experiment, right? Uh, let's add some, you know, move forward, I think. And then also idle. So, oh, by the way, I'm right clicking and then add whatever node. It could be animation and whatnot. So I'm just going to demonstrate uh, the blending itself right uh, so blending uh, use blend 2 you might use blend 3 if you want to so blend 3 it's have like uh, let's say this one let's call this one idle and then call this one the um what is it forgot what is it the one move forward or yeah it's forward and then maybe you want to add also animation uh, this one is backward i guess right move back um so this one is backward all right and this one so let's say okay the normal one or the neutral one is this one in and then backward is minus and then forward is plus so let's call this one like forward or maybe not forward what do you call this one like this one is lateral right what do you call the directions of the forward i don't know forward movement i guess right i know side to side is called lateral but um I don't know my english is not so good after all um so yeah let's just do this so okay by dragging this one so you can like kind of see the the idea behind the what is it uh blending the pose right so you can do this you know if you just have a simple forward and backward motion but if you want to add left and right so Arif, do i need to add uh things like okay blend again but this one blend but this one is uh blend three i guess i can just duplicate it can i no it's just gone what the hell oh they just okay hold on no i can't really i can just really okay so blend three okay now we just do the lateral movement yeah, can we do that yes you can but it's not effective right so instead of using this blend but this is just to demonstrate the idea of blending the poses so you, what you can do is just add a new blend space 2d all right so this one we can say the um, horizontal movement because we are uh, what is it playing around or moving around on the horizontal not really the, on the y-axis per se right so horizontal movement so let's connect to, to this one and open the editor now we have this thing right so let's say if you want to go like oh y positive i think y positive should be move forward and then yeah and then y negative it should be move backward and then uh, x positive it should be move 
right. And uh, X negative should be move left, right. So now you can like, you know, have this uh, Mac kind of like moving around. So I need to put it like to the maximum. And now it's blended all the direction, you know, so you don't really need to create all those like blending nodes, you know, over and over again or stack it on top of each other because it's again, it's not going to be readable or as, as readable as um, this. So you can this one, you know, X uh, for to the right and then X, excuse me, X negative is to the left, X positive to the right and then yeah, forward, backward, right? So that's how you control the horizontal movement basically, right? And also you can access the um, what is it? The code or the parameters through the uh, inspector here. So you can also play around here, but it's not, it's less fun because it's much more fun when you do it like dragging, you know, you can make it dance, you know. So that's the idea of the uh, basic movement, right? The horizontal movement. Next up is going to be a little bit, in, uh, what is it? Complicated, but so bear with me. I'm not going to uh, dive too much into it, but this is the a final animation with all that so again let's just recap everything here or recap what i already did so first one is the base movement here which is the horizontal movement like left right and then forward backward right so and also jumping you know oh it's actually jumping it has like okay so for for the jumping itself i oh actually i don't use blend i use add so for jumping itself, I actually had a little bit of an animation. So, yeah. But anywho, so and also shooting, whether the player is shooting or not. So you blend it between the two point or interpolate between the two poses. This one is the idle one. This one is the shooting one. Let's just set it to this one. And this one is the shoot rotation. Oops. Hold on. So let's shooting. Oh, this is too much. All right. Shooting. Blend to now the player is shooting. But then if you want to rotate the camera, you know, um, like or tilt the camera up or down, you can do this, right? So this shoot X, I don't know if you can read it. Maybe I should, not ah, damn it. Wait. <laughs> okay, so maybe you should share it. So it's like the shoot X rotation is that, uh, you know, it's dealing with the pose that I told you when the player's kind of like shooting to the top or upward and negative one when the player shooting downward. So. Uh, yeah, and of course in third person shooter, you don't really shoot like 90 degrees upward, but that's not my case, right? Again, I'm just going to run through everything, rotate body. So how much rotation you want to add to the body? So if you want to add rotation like this and, you know, you can also set it to negative uh, for fun reason. So you can like, uh, you know, body rotation if you only have one uh rotation pose to the left then if you want to rotate it to the right you can actually use the negative uh value to make it rotate to the left instead of to the right right okay oh this one is like turn when when the player is kind of turning so it's not rotating excuse me not rotating but make the body of the mac lower All right so let's see a little bit on how it's in game right so so okay this is in game like I told you, the body rotation is actually rotate the, or the body rotation node, rotate the player's body first instead of the full body of the player, right? So it gives the secondary motion when the player move around or rotate around or, you know, panning around the scene. So this gives like a better movement feel, I guess, right? And also goes the same for the movement uh, to the left, to the right, where the player is kind of trying to move. So the body move first and then the leg is kind of follow through. So it gives that secondary motion that I talked about. And this one is for the shooting. Like I told you, when the player is shooting upward, the body also will kind of going upward and downward as well. All right. So that's the basic animation system. It's not really basic though. It's pretty complicated, but that's how you should do it. So start with something easy, you know, uh, if you want to learn something or learn something why why am i telling you this but if you want to learn just experiment with simple stuff like this first and then build on top of that on top of that and you're gonna get a sense like oh what should i put first and then yeah to be honest it's still like a not really a guessing game but sometimes you know things doesn't really work as i want it to so it's kind of still kind of a guessing game for me okay so maybe i should put the shooting uh, node at the end closer to the output or maybe after the basic movement or whatever but yeah so experiment with that 
So that's conclude the animation part of things. I think I want to talk a little bit about the VFX after this one. Okay, so I'm... Um, wait, okay. All right, so I'm going to talk about the uh, VFX itself, like the movement VFX, right? You know, VFX is not always about like, oh, the hit VFX, the explosion, the stuff, you know, some mundane stuff like this, like the boost itself is also VFX work. Um, but yeah, so in this case, I'm going to show you how to attach the VFX to the model itself. So it could like, you know, when the player is rotating the body or when the player is moving, you know, it's still attached, you know, like moving like this, like that, so on and so forth. And yeah all right so i'm just going to use this one still so let's see right oh, maybe i need to talk about the boost vfx itself so the boost itself it doesn't really have any special thing it's just like uh uh what is it an omni light so it's to light the model itself to give a little bit of a you know it belongs to the scene you know it affecting the model giving a little bit of a highlight or a shadow and then sparks is just the particle system. This one is what is this one? Or it's the boot, the afterburner. This one is or the blue kind of glow. Yeah, maybe I should name it like blue glow, and then save it. All right. And what about the script? The script is just like uh, you know the boost, like the energy. Uh, you scale it down accordingly to the, uh, or you tone it down accordingly to the scale. If it's like getting bigger, then the scale of the spotlight or the not spotlight, the omni light getting bigger, or if it is smaller, then getting smaller. And for some reason, it doesn't really like scale automatically, or at least the the light doesn't really scale automatically, because I can still see like artifacts of that the what is it, the area of effect it's still kind of affecting the model, even though it's kind of like small, you know. But yeah, there's a problem. So I'm just it's not really a problem. I guess this is the workaround. I don't know if this is again. Maybe you can leave down in the comment whether it is good practice or not because again it just worked for me and it doesn't really have any uh, how should i say like performance uh, issues so i'm pretty sure it's good practice then but anywho so the particle itself is pretty easy all right now how to attach it to the part of the uh player right so i'm just gonna use this one so let's say let's say let's add um what is it the boost 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 right why is it so far away over there Hey, can you move it over here? All right. So let's say like this. All right. But it does not attach because, you know, it has nothing attached to it. So like, oh, it's now it's inside or something like that. But what you can do is that you can go to the rig one and then go to the skeleton. Actually, you can do this anywhere. Uh, so you can go find oops, bone attachment 3D and then go there. It says like. Now, uh, Paranode is not a skeleton 3D node. Please use an external skeleton 3D if you if you intend to use the bone attachment 3D without being a child of a skeleton node, right? So, again, so you can just go to use external skeleton and then assign it and to this one and then go to the bone. And I think I'm going to use the spine 1. Oh, no, it's not there. Spine 2. Oh, no, it's getting lower. Spine. All right. I think that's a lot better. Now spine, even though it's not like in the, oh, I want it to be up here, but it's not there. So how? Yeah, you can just attach it like this. And now, um, if you modify this one, it will, what is it? Boost, boost accordingly, <laughs> boost accordingly, or attach accordingly. Uh, maybe play around a little bit with the, what is it? The axis, the X axis, the rotation itself. And so that's pretty much it, you know? Uh, now it's properly attached, right? I did the same. So let's just copy this one. And then for the shoulder left, let's say, right? Because it also has a boost there. Oh, what's wrong with my model here? Pretty bad though, but yeah. So it can go here and then, you know, sorry, it's a little bit annoying if you see me editing like this thing. Transform, maybe I set it with it to zero first, I guess, right? And it's to my oh excuse me wait how how is it not that's properly all right sorry damn what is oh it should be 90 all right oh whatever okay nobody really cares about that one all right so again yeah, you just need to position everything accordingly and there you have it 
Um, right. So that's how you attach something wrong with my model. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to fix it now, but I think it's the UV or whatever, but yeah. So yeah, that's how you attach the VFX, right? So that's what I did with every single VFX that I have. So like this one, for example, the boost on the shoulder, on the boost on the back or the, uh, the dust particle on the leg, you know? And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. How you attach the uh, VFX and also that technique. You can also use it. Oh, and by the way, I use, uh, what is it? I just put every single thing under the uh, skeleton 3D, skeleton 3D um, node here. And, but for this one is actually the, the weapon itself. You can use the same thing, the same technique, you know, like, okay, left shoulder, you want to have a weapon there, uh, make a bone attachment and then put your uh, weapon there. And also goes the same for the gun. In this case, oh, you want to shoot from the, your right hand? All right, attached. Uh, create a bone attachment and then, you know, yeah, you do, uh, do the rest. So basically that's how I attach the VFX. All right. So after you do all that, um, you know, all the attachment and stuff and all the VFX attached accordingly or the weapon, all you need to do next is just create the, um, or control the animation itself. Um, I have two different approach. I think, I don't know if I do it here. But you can actually use the owner velocity or the player velocity because it is a kinematic uh, character or character body 3D. It has a built-in, um, excuse me, built-in value, built-in value called uh, velocity. You can use that to manipulate the character, or you can just use the key uh, in key presses, right? So it's like key vac. I'm using where's the key vac here? Uh, so yeah, but basically it's the key vac. It's the what is it? the vector of the key that is being pressed, the directional key, right? Again, I'm not going to dive too much into it. I hope you find another tutorial that covers this uh, in detail. But basically, the idea is that you put the parameters or you drag the parameters uh, of the node and then, you know, and then you set that to the uh, to a value and then it will drive this value. Like, you know, how much do you want to add for jumping or uh, what is the X value of the base movement? What is the Y value of the Y movement, you know? But just maybe to illustrate a little bit, in this case, base movement, X is left and right. So it should be linked to the velocity dot, dot X, while the Y, it should be linked to the velocity dot Y. So, excuse me, dot Z, because Y, or excuse me, the Z axis is the one that is uh, responsible for going forward or backward, right? So, yeah, and X is the lateral movement. I still haven't found what is the forward or backward movement called, but... I don't know, I'm too lazy to find it on Google. But anyway, so yeah, X is a lateral movement and Y is the forward and backward momentum or movement. So that's how usually it works. So again, um, that's how you uh, program it. And also goes the same for the shooting mechanic, right? So you just assign the shooting. In this case, like the shooting blend here. How much blend do you want it to have? So if it's shooting, then blend to one. If it's not the player's not shooting, then blend it to zero. Uh, like this one. So but yeah. All right. So that's pretty much will cover everything. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know. I don't know what else you want me to explain. But if you have questions regarding anything about this tutorial, please don't forget to just leave. Don't forget to just leave a comment down below. Um, I don't know. I think I want to make a segment where I just kind of like answering your question because a lot of good questions down in the comment, you know. And so, yeah, now this is the movement system that we already created or that we already, that I already demonstrated. So, you know, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as usual. Thank you so much for all the uh, supporters on Ko-fi. If you want to uh, support the channel, you can download the project file on ko-fi.com. And, you know, maybe I'll take like a personal request. If you want to request something, you can actually DM me or just put uh, down in the comment below. And so, yeah. With that being said, I guess that's all. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.